Here are the two recent Yo Lamb ladies that I bought. They're still in their quarantine. They're quite happy, aren't you? Aren't you? So, um, but the other thing I was going to show you was that uh, every downpipe we have here has a water butt of some nature on it. These are old, that's an old water, that's a water trough. That's a water butt you can buy in a um, garden center. And all the dogs drink out of them. But they're under every downpipe we have. And then over here, this water butt is an old water tank from inside a house. I have a friend who's a plumber, so anytime he has free uh, water tanks from inside houses for replacing them for a copper one or something like that, um, I get them to give them to me and they go underneath the downpipes. So I collect as much water as possible. We also have a huge tank that's around the stables and this yard here. And this here is the potting shed where my great grandfather potted everything. And I'll show you the huge water butt we have here. This is, as you can see, got tools, lots of pots. I'm planting, uh, I've got some of my stuff in the winter. These are for young trees when young trees are growing, whoops, I use those rubber things for holding them to the stake. And along here you can see prizes my grandfather won for best marrow, best carrots, best flowers. I even won something once when I was at the, at the um, county show. So this was, I got this thing when a uh, hardware store was going out of business or finishing. So I have these, got these things from them. But up here into the garden, this is one of the old areas of the conservatory. You can see there's a vine. This grapevine produces grapes. So one day I hope to turn that into another little greenhouse, a lean-to greenhouse, when I can afford to. But this is the giant water butt. I don't know when this was put in. It could have been my grandfather, my great-grandfather, or my great-great-grandfather. But it's the water from the stable comes down and goes in here. So we have loads of water to water the garden when it's uh, droughty or the water runs out or anything like that. So this is a project I'd love to get done so that I can start seedlings off early and grow tomatoes. Over here, this used to be where the artichokes are. There used to be a peach tree. Peach trees, this was a greenhouse as well. And peach trees were espaliered along that wall. And my grandfather used to count every single peach because he knew how many there were because they were a very valuable commodity to sell here locally. And um, we were never allowed a peach unless a bee or a wasp was eating it and then it was blemished so his clients my grandfather's clients wouldn't want it so this is the old um and there's that lovely arched doorway into the so that was known as the vine house and that was the this was the greenhouse uh with the peach trees or the peach house and um yeah so we always used to love it when a wasp would get into the, into the peach house and get one of the peaches, because then we as children, it would be divvied up between us. It was so delicious, those peaches. So there's the vine house and our huge water butt. So we've been working to um, conserve things for generations here uh, on this farm. It's not a recent uh, phenomenon. So, one day, one day, there will be a greenhouse here. <laughs>